Assalamu alaikum, my dear student. Today, uh, I'm going to discuss classification of carbon and hydrogen in organic compound. I felt some students, they face problem whenever they are going to identify the carbon degree and hydrogen degree. And let's discuss the, in detail about the classification of carbon and hydrogen with some example as well. Here, I gave an example which is basically the mixture of methyl, methylene, CH2, CH, and a carbon. What is the main difference you can find here? You can see here the red methyl, all sides, they are bonded with only one carbon. This methyl bonded with one, one carbon. This methyl bonded with one carbon. This methyl bonded with one carbon. This methyl bonded with one, one carbon. Now keep remember, when you classify the carbon on basis of the degree, it means carbon should be bonded with the carbon. So generally, we can classify the carbon into four degree. One degree carbon, two degree, three degree, or four degree carbon atom. They also known as primary carbon, secondary carbon, tertiary carbon, and quaternary carbon. Now see here, the methyl, they all are primary carbon. Why? Because all methyl are bonded with one carbon. While the carbon, the secondary carbon, they bonded with the two carbon. This CH2 bonded on left and right side. This CH2 up and down. So that's why these blue are the secondary carbon. While the green one, this carbon bonded with three carbon. These carbon could be same and these carbon could be different. It doesn't matter. So whenever the carbon bonded with three more carbon, this carbon is known as the three degree carbon or tertiary carbon. Similarly, if a carbon is bonded with four same or four different carbon, the central carbon is known as the quaternary carbon. So that's how we can classify the one, two, three or four degree carbon. Let's move on some more example. For example, here methane. What is the degree of carbon in methane? What about this uh, other molecule, the formaldehyde? What is the degree of the carbon in this formaldehyde? Or what is the degree of carbon in methanol? What is the degree of uh, carbon in methyl chloride? What is the degree of carbon in dichloromethane? What is the degree of this CH2 in 1, 3, dioxane? And because in this case, this carbon is not bonded with any other carbon. And we know in the previous slides, slide, as I discussed, when carbon is bonded with the other carbon, we can classify as 1, 2, 3, or 4 degree carbon. But in these examples, there is, this is not the case. Now, in this case, this carbon who do not have any other carbon in surrounding is known as zero degree carbon or super primary carbon. So this carbon or this, the green carbon in 1,3-dioxane is known as super degree carbon. See some more example. If I ask you try to classify this carbon atom, this carbon atom is known as basically a three degree carbon atom. Why? Because this is bonded with three different carbon. Well, if you have a case in, in case of phenol, phenol carbon is known as three degree carbon. Why? Because double bond would be considered as two bond of carbon. And here we have a single bond. That's why this carbon is a three degree carbon. Same here, we have a three degree carbon because aniline will not be considered in counting the degree of carbon. In this example, this carbon is known as a four degree carbon. One here, two here, and these double bond will be counted as two carbon. And this carbon is basically known as four degree carbon. Let's see how we can classify the hydrogen atom. If you have a practice and you can easily identify the number of or degree of carbon, then hydrogen have no problem. See here, in this example, CH3, CH3, we have three CH3s. If hydrogen bonded with 
primary carbon or one degree carbon, then this hydrogen is known as one degree hydrogen. Similarly, if hydrogen bonded with two degree carbon, we say the hydrogen are two degree hydrogen. If a hydrogen bonded with three degree carbon, you can see here, this hydrogen is known as three degree hydrogen. Okay, so that's how we can classify one, two, three degree hydrogen. There is no four degree hydrogen because there is no possibility. Carbon has four bond. See some practice. If I ask you try to find out the number of primary, secondary or tertiary hydrogen. So by this way, it's difficult. Let's see here how we can say this is carbon number one. Is this primary, secondary or tertiary? Excellent. This is basically a primary hydrogen. Why? Because this carbon is a one degree carbon. About this one, C2, it is a two degree. Why? Because this CH2 bonded with two degree or uh, two carbon. So that's why this hydrogen also known as two degree hydrogen. Here in this case, CH, this carbon bonded with three carbon. That's why this is three degree carbon. And that's why this hydrogen is a three degree hydrogen. Okay, I will show you by me the circle. You can see here in circle, the green are basically the primary hydrogen. Why? Because they are bonded with the one degree carbon. And the blue ones are basically the secondary hydrogen. Why? Because they are bonded with secondary carbon. And the red one is basically a three degree hydrogen. Why? Because this is bonded with the three degree carbon. And here, carbon number seven, I didn't mark. Why? Because there is no hydrogen. So that's how you can easily classify one degree, two degree, and three degree hydrogen. That's all for today's lecture. Hopefully, we will do some more interesting lecture in our upcoming online series. See you.